Wow. Um, John mentioned it. We're, no, we're now going to bring you something very, very special. Earlier this year, February of this year, Russia invaded Ukraine. It's an ongoing situation that seems to be getting worse and worse. But one thing that has come out of all of that is that we've had some wonderful people come to live amongst us, and some of them are here tonight. I want to introduce on stage a beautiful young lady. Her name is Nina Yelinchuk. She's been dancing since she was five years of age, multi-talented. She's a choreographer, she's a ballet dancer, an actress, a TV personality from Odessa. And she's going to perform for us a piece called The Go Pack, or the Hopak, in the original form. Uh, Gopak in the Ukrainian form is often referred to as the national dance of Ukraine. And it's extremely popular in Slavic countries. After tonight, it'll be very popular in Cork, believe you me. The name is derived from a verb which literally means to hop. Uh, as well as the movements, they also shout, hop. Uh, in Kerry, they go, hop ya boya. But in Ukraine, it's uh, much, more, much more important. It initially was a Cossack dance and was practiced in the lands of present-day Ukraine beginning in the 16th century as a demonstration of courage, of strength, agility, and combat skills. Originally, it was exclusively a male dance, but subsequently, the fairer sex began to take part in it, and Nina is one of the finest exponents of the dance. Tonight's performance by Nina is not just a demonstration of her skill, but it's about her love, her love for her homeland. It also represents Nina and her family's collective strength and courage at this very challenging time for all the Ukrainian community in Ireland. Would you please welcome Nina Yelenchuk and the GOPAC. Just beautiful Nina Yelinchuk. She'll be back with us again presently. Um, the, the, the symbol of the bread, uh, it's one of the most important parts of the meeting ceremony. 
Um, and the bread is called korovai, and it's served with salt, and it's usually on a traditional embroidered cloth, as you can see here. Uh, excuse me. Uh, so this is also part of the ritual, uh, and indeed the beautiful costume that you... Wasn't that magnificent? Oh, my goodness. That was the go part. And the guest then dips the loaf of bread in salt and eats it, and it symbolizes unity and trust between people. Isn't that, isn't that just a beautiful sentiment? It really is. Now, next up, I want to introduce on stage Svetlana and Valeria Dekun. They're from Marup Mariupol. Please come on stage. I met them a few weeks ago. I met them a few weeks ago in uh, the Lord Mayor's Chambers, and they, were, they had been moved to Clonmel, and they were hoping to get back to Cork, and the good news is that they are back in Cork, and they're with us tonight. They're going to perform a piece for us. It's a beautiful waltz, words by Boris Palyachuk, music by Igor Shama. Uh, and listening to the song, you can sense the great love for your native land, for, for life, for longing for your native soil. You can imagine how wonderful Kiev evenings were when people met, exchanging dreams and feelings, and my goodness how it's all changed now. The song was brought to world attention by the American-Ukrainian color uh, soprano Kvitka Chizik, and she passed away in 1998, she was only 44, uh, but she made this song uh, world famous, and they're going to perform for us now. This is Svetlana and Valeria, and this is Where Are You Now?
Svetlana Vanaria Dejko. Just a brief word with Vanaria. Where are you from originally? What I'm part of Ukraine? I'm from Ukraine. I'm from Mariupol. Yeah, this is wonderful uh, um, city. Yeah, this is was beautiful city. Yeah. Uh, I wanna uh, tell thank you, um, Academy of Music, Billy, um, Irish people. Thank you for support, Ukrainian, and uh, yeah, thank thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much. When, when did you arrive in Ireland? How long are you here? Uh, we. Um, uh, I've been in Ireland um, and with my mom and granny uh, of uh, four months. Four months. Yeah. And when you arrived first, where were you staying? Uh, we stay in family home in lovely, lovely family. Thank you, thank you, Pat and uh, Claire. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, Mum has changed her dress and everything, so <laughs> that was quick. Um, welcome to Cork. Thank you so and much. And thank you for being with us. Thank you. Uh, and we take now to the final piece, uh, which is, uh, it's something else. Now, um, the piece is called Kalinia. Uh, I was saying to Valerie yesterday, it's a bit like our own word for Colleen, for a girl. But it actually means the red viburnum in the meadow. Um, the plant is um, a great symbol of Ukraine, uh, and also it's, it, it's seen and heard throughout its folklore. The march, a patriotic march, was first published in 1875. It was written in a modern treatment by the composer Stepan Charnitsky in 1914 in honor of the Sikh riflemen of the First World War. And it was later adopted by both the Ukrainian People's Army in the War of Independence and the Ukrainian Insurgent Army during the Second World War. Due to the song's association with the Ukrainian people's aspirations for independence, singing of this song was banned during the period in which the Ukraine was a Soviet Republic. That's from 1919 to 1991. Nevertheless, it was sung by Ukrainian patriots with defiance, and anyone caught singing it was jailed or beaten, exiled, or even worse. In March 2022, the song gained international attention when a video of an a cappella rendition by Andriy Chevnyuk of the Ukrainian band Boombox was posted on Instagram. Boombox were touring in the States at the time when the Russians invaded Ukraine on the 24th of February of this year. In response to the invasion, Chevnyuk cut the tour short, he returned home, he joined the armed forces, and then he recorded the video while wearing his army fatigues, standing near Sofia Square in Kiev, and he uploaded it where it became viral. Dave Gilmore of Pink Floyd created an original song around Chebniuk's vocal of Oh, the Red by Burn. This is quite emotional. This is a powerful piece. Kalinia is the fitting highlight to our evening at the City Hall tonight. Svetlana and Valeria, Nina Yelenchuk returns, Babarak Street Band, and Kalinia. Enjoy. Ой, усі червона калина похилилася. Чогось наша славна Україна.
Svetlana and Valeria Dekun. And Nina Yelonchuk, ladies and gentlemen. Slava Ukraini, ladies and gentlemen, we see in the news that Putin is upping the stakes again. He's threatening nuclear war. He came up with a farce of taking over four territories. But the world hopefully will stand firm and these beautiful people can return to their homeland safely. But in the meantime, they are now residents of Cork and uh, we welcome them with open arms. Uh, and on that note, We, we, we come to the end of our program for this evening, and it's traditional that we, we finish with one particular piece. And uh, it's, it's, it's a great piece for getting everybody involved. And we dedicate this to our, our, our Ukrainian friends, and indeed to you, my friends, who've been here tonight. Thank you so much for your, for your coming along to see us. Thank you for uh, your support, and thank you to the Lord Mayor and the office for creating this heritage concert which each and every year celebrates the city and county in no uncertain terms. So we're going to welcome back on stage our principal performers, um, Linda and Jimmy, and the other Jimmy, they're all going to come back in. The Boys of Cork Choir is with us, um, the Barrack Street Band, of course. And we give this song to our Ukrainian friends. And the message is very simply, in the song, you never walk alone.
You never walk alone, ladies and gentlemen. And we are now going to finish in the usual traditional way of the heritage concerts as we all blaze away. Hey! Okay. 